Good morning, good morning. Today's a good day. Uh, we're going to be, I'm going to be taking the bus over to have the uh, Bigfoot levelers uh, welded on completely. Uh, what I did is I put them on and I tack welded them in four places. Um, and then uh, I'm going to take them to a professional welder and have him take care of it. Here's a couple things I'm going to show you before I go over there. I'm driving over there this morning. I have an appointment at 9 o'clock. So um, that's what I'm going to do. So right now, these are the uh, curtains that I put up. I bought some soundproof curtains that are made actually for uh, music and uh, also for stage productions and stuff. So it's a soundproofing, lightproofing blanket. I cut these to fit right in here and I bought the little, um, that's just a little piece of quarter inch wood I'm using to block off this top piece part right here. But I bought these little deals from, I think I bought them on Amazon, but they're actually I think from Ikea or else they're just like the ones from Ikea that I had looked at. But they just come right off real easy, fold right up. And so when I'm getting ready to drive, I just take these off and uh, we just get on the road. So, piece of cake. And it's, um, there we go. And of course, there's my brand new windows. So, uh, I'm on my way over to uh, get my levelers done. Ain't it great? Now to keep my bus leveled while I was parked here in the drive, you can see I just uh, put plywood, two befores, and built them up to the point where uh, where it was level. And it truly was level, but look at that mass of stuff. Now I don't want to have to do that anymore. So. After today, I should be able just to put my levelers down, won't it be great? Well, I'm coming into the little town of Florence here. It's, uh, it's, they, they say that it's the antique capital of Colorado. Their downtown area has been turned into all antique shops. I'm going the speed limit, so that guy's not. <laughs> but I think, I really like this little town. It's uh, the closest town to us, actually. Uh, but they don't have a lot of the things I'm looking for, so typically I go to, uh, there's two other towns that are not too far, Pueblo and Canyon City. So we actually end up going to one of those most of the time um, but it's a it's a cute little town and uh, right here we're coming into the city limits right now that's it's 5197 so it's 5917 feet I guess ain't it great magnificent old brick buildings and uh, almost everything along here has been turned into uh, some kind of an antique shop. Anyway, I'm almost to the welding shop here. I'm going to shut her down for a minute. 
Well, Johnny's going to take care of us. He's going to fix our... I, I vlog. You what? <laughs> I vlog. Oh, okay. YouTube. So Johnny's going to put our... Uh, get our cylinders welded on today. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. <laughs> it's not an easy job, though. They're tough to get to. Thank you, sir. So this is our bus in a different setting here. And I did discover you don't want to go down little bitty lanes because little bitty lanes have a have low trees. Well, this is the professional here. Johnny knows what he's doing. And he's got a good looking hat too. Bye, baby. Debbie's going to pick up some things from Office Depot. I really appreciate this guy. He's doing a good job on those. And he's got the right equipment too. Well, today I'll go ahead and finish the um, putting the pumps on my on my levelers so I can level that bus out and then uh, we can finish painting the front and then I'll be able to start doing some decorations on the bus so that's exciting well that was really great actually it took him a little over an hour I guess about an hour and a half to to do everything so uh, it's all they're all welded ready for me to put the pumps on and I am headed home so that is pretty exciting to me actually uh, that he was able to get it done so quickly and no problems so today I'll be putting on the pumps and uh, running all the wiring uh, for my levelers okay I have now mounted the pump on uh, this cylinder uh, let's see if we can get a better shot of it but there's the pump it doesn't have the cover on it yet but I've mounted it on the back side of this cylinder worked out just perfectly and uh, the cylinder looks really filthy but it's just actually the fact that these have been weeping uh, the fluids been weeping out of these these cylinders uh, because they didn't have didn't have the hoses on them yet so uh, anyway they're looking really good I'm really proud of uh, of the fact that they're on there really good and not going anywhere and we're gonna be leveling this bus with them pretty quick okay here's the next pump I'm getting ready to put this one in in just a second and uh, we're just gonna look at it here it's uh, pretty simple how everything works it just has a solenoid for for um, the end for, for for raising it and for uh, lowering the uh, the cylinder. It's a marine grade pump, nice pump there, and has a little reservoir there to hold the Dextron three. So it's a self-contained unit. Just have to hook up uh, the wires that go to the uh, to the solenoids. There's a wire harness that comes with this, and it goes all the way, hooks all four of them together, and then goes to your power. Well, a little box and all that stuff. Everything comes with it, and it's pretty uh, easy to understand. So, this one's the sec next one to go in, and. Uh, 
uh, today uh, hopefully I'll get all my my pumps mounted and hopefully today I'll get it all the electrical part hooked up too Whoop! there you go Miss Debbie what are you learning today um well I'm learn I learned that we need apparently a different computer for this because this one keeps rebooting itself. What is the computer for? Oh, it's to watch our um, watch our solar system and see how the batteries are charging and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Your glasses are fogging up. Yes, they are. I just cleaned them and I just got them out. Of so what day is today? Today is my birthday. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. It is, and the good news is that Jim got our levelers installed. Woo woo! Woo woo! And how does it work when you push that automatic? It's, it's fabulous, but I tell you, it was a big, big job. And if I didn't have such an awesome, wonderful husband, it would never have gotten done. Okay, could you say it again? Awesome, wonderful husband. <laughs> well, this is part two on putting on the uh, uh, the self-levelers and I have to say I am very impressed they are they are very awesome I will also say it was a lot of work and uh, if I had it to do over I think I'd probably just go directly to Quadra and let them put them on for me uh, but I got her all done that's the important part but the unit is amazing uh, once I got it done, uh, let me show you a little bit about just the controls, how easy it is. So this is, um, right here is the control box, and I'm just leaving it on this little tether here. I'll stick it uh, inside my cabinet when I'm not using it, but it is so amazing. Now the first thing we did is, it tells you in the book exactly how to do it, but I was surprised at how simple it was. But uh, we just you just power it on, and uh, then uh, to set it the first time, you have to do it manually. You wait until those little lights quit running around and this foot comes on. Then you push manual. And when you push manual, it just um, does nothing. <laughs> Let me try that again. Well, you don't. You have to hold it for a few seconds, I think it says. Oh, De oh, you gotta. Debbie says you gotta hold it down for a few seconds. Okay, we'll see if the. There we yeah. go. You don't really want to do manual right now, though. No, You're I've just got to pretend. I've got it. it set all level. No, I'm going to show them. I can always go back to automatic. Okay. So you push manual, and then um, uh, it tells you that this top one right here when you're running manual, does the front right corner. The second one, it does the, um, it does the uh, back right. right. This is the uh, back uh, left, and this is the front left. So you just run it manually until you get where you want it. Oh. Now, you can feel it move there. Well, I could feel it move. <laughs> yeah, you could hear it. And you can well, feel it move there. So you just run it until you get it level. Once you have it completely level, then you push front. No. I'm sorry. What do you push do? Retract. Three you push times. retract. Yeah. And that you push sets retract it. three times, and that sets it. Now, when you're coming into it, you push manual first, and then to get it to run manually when you're trying to set it up, or wanting to set the sensor up, you push front five times rear five times and um, then you set it. Once you get it all level then you push retract three times and that locks it in. Now what I can do right now is I can just push turn um, it off. <laughs> Debbie says just turn it off. Turn it off and turn it back on auto level. So. Yeah you can just turn it off and turn it back on auto level and when you do uh, when you when we turn it off turn it back on auto level um, I'll go ahead and do retract and pull them all up and everything. I've tried it two or three times, so I like to do that. But when you push that auto level, 
it just starts it takes it about two or three minutes to do it it'll run two down up here then it'll run two on that side it does two at a time to keep from making the frame uh, bend any more than it has to pretty incredible how it works and when you're all done voila you have a level uh, coach so I am totally impressed at how it works I'm going to go underneath and show you now um, exactly uh, what it looks like underneath. The only thing I lack in finishing is just putting the covers on the pumps and um, taking zip ties and tying up all the uh, excess wire that we have underneath. So very, very pleased with how it's working so far. Well, here's the pumps on the front. Don't have the covers on them yet, but you can see that they're all hooked up. And then, of course, we have uh, uh, we have our there. You can see the actual uh, levelers. Ain't it great? Hello, dog. Well, hey guys, thanks so much for watching our videos, and um, uh, hopefully that uh, was helpful about the levelers. And we're getting closer and closer, aren't we, baby? Yes. I tell you, it's been so nice having Debbie home. <coughs> yes. And it's nice being home. So we are excited. And uh, so thankful that you watch our videos. Hope you enjoy them. And we're going to continue to make them, aren't we, baby? Yes. Okay, bye-bye. Mm -hmm.